the head of the church, part two. Our topic for today, Jesus Christ, the head of the heavenly church. Jesus Christ, the head of the heavenly church. Text, Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 to 18, and Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 15. Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 to 18 reads, Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us, me to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his love, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in hell, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 15 reads, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, we seated upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell upon the throne on their faces and worshipped God. Verse 12, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might, be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these? which are arrayed in white robes, and when they they, and I said unto him, So, thou knowest, and he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serving day and night in the temple, and each that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The aim of this study are two. Number one, to describe to describe and explain the concept of the heavenly church, and number two. To establish the fact that Jesus Christ is the head of the heavenly church. Introduction to the study. The church in heaven is composed of all believers who have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. It also consists of all the angels and all other hosts of heaven. Our texts today show that Jesus is supreme to angels and other heavenly beings. It also shows that all hosts of heaven are united continuously in rendering honor to him, that is, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who sits on the throne. Now we go to the questions, study God. Question number one. Says, for one of the texts today, 
that. In Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 15, let us describe the heavenly church of Jesus Christ. From the text, Revelation 7, verse 9 to 15, how we can describe the heavenly church of Jesus Christ in that? It's comprised of all the good people from all tribes of the world, the angels, the 24 elders, Question number two. How can you explain the fact that Jesus Christ is the, is the head of the church in heaven? According to Revelation chapter 5, verses 13 and 14, Revelation 7, verses 9 to 12, Revelation chapter 21, verse 3, this passages confirm that all creatures, both in heaven and on earth, make reference to Christ Jesus and at the same time worship, prostrating before him. And that is why Jesus Christ can be referred to as the head of the church in heaven. Question number three. Differentiate between the heavenly church and the heavenly church. According to Revelation chapter 7, verses 9, verses 15 to 17, Revelation 21, verses 1 to 4, and Revelation 22, verses 3 to 5. According to Revelation chapter 7, verses 15 to 17, and chapter 21, verses 1 to 4, as well as chapter 22, verses 3 to 5. We realize that the earthly church is a church that is still fighting against the flesh, fighting against the devil and its cohorts in, the, in several phases of life. It's a church that is still on a struggling leg that has not attained the right standard yet. While the heavenly church is a church where the redeemed people who are well described content of Revelation 7 verse 14 through 17. This is still the difference between the church of the world and the church in heaven. Question number four. What are the qualifications for membership of the heavenly church? According to Matthew chapter 19 verse 28, Revelation chapter 7 verse 12 and 13, Revelation chapter 20 verse 4, and Revelation 22, verse 14. From the passages read, the qualifications are one, regeneration, two, regular washing of ourselves in the blood of the Lamb, and then number three, not worshiping or receiving the mark of Satan. Question number five, which is the last question, says, what is the fate of unbelievers and non-members of the heavenly church? Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and Revelation chapter 20 verses 10 to 15. According to where we have read, we can see that their names will be not only missing from the book of life, they will be condemned to hell is Conclusion. The humility of Jesus Christ is revealed in his death for the sins of the world. Although he is righteous and sinless, and God has given him a name above all names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth. And of those under the earth, and that every time should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That is Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. Food for thought. Jesus Christ triumphed over death to be enthroned as the head of the heavenly church. Our memory verse for today is taken from 
Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. Let's say after me, Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. And every creature, and every creature which is in heaven, which is in heaven, and on the head, and on the head, and under the head, and under the head, and such as are, and such as are in the sea, in the sea, and all that are that are, and all that are in them, in them I heard saying, I heard saying, blessing and honor. And glory and power, and glory and power, be to him, to him who sits on the throne, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb forever and ever, and to the Lamb forever and ever. Let us pray. Our God, we want to thank you because you have spoken to us today. We pray, Lord, that as we go from here. Let your word continually abide in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That wherever we go, let this word continue to bring forth that which you desire in each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answering the prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. Yeah. The glory of the Lord which brings to the saints of Jesus the highway for our God. Dearly beloved, wherever you are watching this program, it is time again as the family of God in my father's presence to offer him praise and thank you to hear and receive his holy word, to bring before him the means of the world, to ask his forgiveness of our sins, and to seek his grace, and through his son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God as we kneel down. We receive and we have no sin. We receive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. Let us examine ourselves. Before the Almighty. As we hope we confess our sins, please say after me. Almighty God, Almighty God, our heavenly Father, our Father, we have sinned against you, we have sinned against you, and against our neighbors, and against our neighbors, in thoughts, in thoughts, and word, and word, and deed. Again, sir. 
Gloria, Gloria again, please. Moderate the Father after the Son, after the Holy Ghost. Praise be to the Lord. The Lord will give you praise. Psalm 97 shall be read in alternate order. Psalm 97. The Lord reigneth, the earth rejoice, let multitude of eyes be glad thereof. The Lord will give you praise. A fire burned before him, and burned up his enemies round about. His name is written in the book of the rest of the world. The hill melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The earth will not be the strength of the earth, and all the people will be saved. Confounded be all that all they that serve. Driven images that boast themselves of idols, worship him, all ye gods. For thou, Lord, art high above of the earth, thou art exalted far above all gods. Light is stone for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and it had two horns like a lamb, and it speak as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed, and he doeth great wonders. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceived, and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he hath power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by sword, and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the 
number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. This is the word of the Lord. Christ is the Lord. We shall be taking the two hundred and ninety-one of the new people as we continue the series. Events, but a series of events. 
rapture is the first event to take place and other activities follow. The rapture, which is the gathering of all the saints of Christ, both militant and triumphant, meaning that those that have died in the service of Christ and those that are still fighting on. We meet the Lord at the rapture. At rapture, the believers meet their Lord in the air to enjoy what is called the marriage supper of the Lamb. Concurrently, as the saints enjoy the marriage supper of the Lamb, the world will be in terrible suffering. The word EM means those that are left behind after the rapture. The Antichrist at this time will take over the world. Whereas there have been many Antichrists in the world since Christ's first advent. At this particular time, the Arch Antichrist will reign in the world. During this time of his reign, the Antichrist will take possession of, his, of this world for a reign of terror, and it is going to last for three and a half years. It will not be a system or organization, but a person which is supernatural and diabolical in nature, in the form of a man who will blaspheme and proclaim himself to be God, as we can see from Daniel chapter 8, verses 23 to 25, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 to 12, and Revelation chapter 13, verses 1 to 10. At this time, that the Antichrist will take over the world, he is going to give certain number to the people of the world as a sign of their loyalty to him. Anybody who will live at this time must be able, or must be ready rather, to receive the mark of the Antichrist, because without it, such a person will not be able to buy or sell or even get a job if there will be opportunity for them to do any job at all because of the terror that will be in those days. So, but for people that will be able to endure the suffering without receiving the mark of the Antichrist, they can be sure of the salvation. And these are the people that the Bible refers to as those that will be saved as if they pass through the fire. So if they can submit themselves to God, submitting their loyalty to God without receiving the mark of the Lamb, they will be saved. But I tell you that it will not be easy at all to do. And so that is why the, the major challenge in our topic today is to prepare us for the rapture and not to, to prepare our mind for what and what the sign or the mark of the Antichrist will be. Because even the scholars have not been able to come to unity as what this mark is going to be. Some have agreed that it is going to be a kind of tattoo of a, numer a kind of numerical value 666. Why others say it's going to be a microchip and so many spell speculations about the mark of the Antichrist. But as people of God, God is expecting us to prepare for the rapture rather than waiting to experience the mark of the Antichrist. And what can we do to make sure we escape this period of terror, this period of suffering that is coming to the world? Number one, we must be sure of our salvation. Each person that wants to escape this period must be sure he has given his life to Christ. And so if you are here, you are not giving your life to Christ, this is the opportunity so that you can be, so that you can be, you, you, you can escape the period of suffering that is coming to the world. I pray the Lord will grant you wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Not only that, if you give your life to Jesus, you need to maintain your work with him, to maintain your relationship with him, because we don't know when the rapture is going to take place. Like Jesus warned the disciples, and he encouraged them in Matthew chapter 24. He told them that by the time they will be coming, the people of the world will be whining and they will be dying. 
and they will be carried away with so many things. But he said at that particular time, the Son of Man will come when they do not expect, just like in the days of Noah. And so, all of us must be ready to rather go with Christ during the rapture than to wait for this time to know what the mark is going to be. I pray you will not be there. I said you will not be there. But we go with the Lord in Jesus' name. Yeah. So finally, I want to give everyone opportunity this day that you, you ponder upon your soul. Have you given your life to Jesus? Are you preparing for the rapture? Are you sure that your name is already in the book of the Lamb? If not, utilize this hour by giving your life to Jesus. What it will cost you to give your life to Jesus now can never be compared with what is going to cost you if you are going to buy your salvation with your own blood. This is the time. And the Lord is waiting for you. And if you have given your life to Jesus Christ, you must not look back. But rather, you give yourself to the service of God. That would say, therefore, brethren, since we know that our labor is not in vain in the Lord, let us be unmovable, continuing in the service of God. This is the only way we can be prepared for the coming of the Lord. I pray that when the Lord comes, you and I will be with the Lord. Amen. We escape the terror that is coming upon the world. Amen. And our names will never be missing in the book of the Lamb. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you have spoken to us. I pray for as many that have given their life to you during this sermon that you will write their names in the book of the Lamb. Amen. We will forgive their sins and help them to walk with you Amen. to the very end of their life. Amen. And all of us together we will meet with you when you shall appear. Amen. Thank you because of our answer and our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
Adura fun akoko adventi. Adura fun ojo isimi teni ni adventi. Adura fun alafia ati adura fun ore ofe. Tolu aki ofe luyi. Jere ti abu adura. Olorun olodumare. Fuwa le ore ofe ki a le bora isho koko sile. Cassidy, Yamora, you want it? This is a yin, if I get to ye. You know, you think this is pretty or more, and what you and love and what woke. Well, you go on job, you got to most of that, and you all are ready, you know, go. Not to wash it at all, I woke, who? Kiawa, to let in day, see ya, you perform the passer, and it's all what you also go back when we are telling me more. This is he at the light light. Amen. Oh, wow, you do go. And it's your teacher at the call go go. You will be more. Funky call walk. Fifuni, kya lima go. Kya ma ka. Kya ma sa misi. Kya ma ko. Ati kya si lima. Sharo, minu wabe. Nipa suru ati itu mu oro mi more. Kya le fa ire ti ya ili pe ku ti o ni bo ku mora. Kya si di yi mou shishi. Ire ti yi ti o ti fi fun wa. Ni no lu ba la wa. Ye so kristi. O lu a wa. Amen. Allah nou mou ene ti nchou lori son a la fi a ti mou fi a yi repo. Mi mou ene ti nchou ya ili pe ku. A ti si si ene ti nchou o gira a ni ton. Da bo ku wa, a wa o ni para mo o mo o do re, ni bo ku i kol wa mo o ta wa. Ke a wa e ni ti npe ke ni a bo re gidi gidi ma pe ra gbara o ta kota. Ni tu re a gbara Jesu Christi, o lu a wa. Amen. O lu a baba wa ti npe li o ron, o lo du ma re a ti a yi ra yi o lo ron. E ni to mu a de o ku ro o do o ni li a la fi a. Ti a gbara re nga da bo ku wani nou re nan. Ki o si fi foun wa. Ki a ma shi pou si mwen e shè lo ni. Ki a ma si suye wwa yi mwen e wukè wu. Shi mwa ki bo kou shi shè wa. Ki o le ma ti o nè la yè se wa. Ki a le shè yi te o to li o tu re ni ba bo bo. Ni to ri jè si fè si o lo a wa. Amen. In continuation of our prayers, I want us to call on God. For his goodness and for his blessing upon us, as the year draws to a close, Psalm 65, verse 11 says, "You crown the year with your goodness." Let's ask God for his goodness and for his blessing upon us in the rest of the 25 days of this year. Let's ask that God will visit us. With his goodness as he has promised in his word. Let's ask that he visit us with blessings over our work. Let's ask that he visit us with blessings over our individual families, with blessings over our church, 
Let's ask that you will give us blessings in our academic sector. Let's ask that as a nation, the Lord will grant that we end it here at the gates. And the Lord grants the year with goodness. Let us pray for the grace not to misuse all that we will give unto us as we draw the year to a close. Because we are all Lord, we are here. We are voting for the people. We are not We are not to be able to follow all of our way. But we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. I want to be to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to We are glad to be here. 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 O se ri pe ni pe ati ni ati ba pa ni oruko re o fi ifere won fun won Oluwa won ife ni ati ifere awa omo re ki o se kini se yin bi o ti le pe fun wa julo ma fi imo ito re fun wa ni aye yi ati ni aye tin bo iye ai ni pe fun won Amen Be abi kon ni si how ti won se adura ore ofe ore ofe Jesus Christ Oluwa wa ati ife Olorun I think I got here before. You my father who are great until I lie. Amen. It is now time for offering. I want to inform us that we should prior pay our offering with our church account number. As you do so, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. As the choir made us to place it, collection and tithes shall be taken.
Gracious Father, I want to say to the Father of God to you for your blessings that we have received today in this service. As you go, go with us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I agree and declare before the doors of 2020, your adversaries will see the mighty heart of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, my name, we are praying. Amen. With this call, we pass it all the time. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of the Son, Jesus Christ, alone. And the blessing of God, Almighty the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Be among you and remain with you. Sincerely, we want to appreciate the Assistant Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Uluda Isiadekule, for the privilege he has given to us uh, to conduct this service. And I pray that God will continue to uphold him in the name of Jesus. And we also want to thank the Chairman of Upper Tupu, Ashtekere, Venerable Sapsi, Adeku for. God will continue to uphold you in the name of Jesus. Thank you to our leaders and all the men of God in the house. The choir, thank you. God bless you. Our closing game is, if you remember, 55. Yeah.
And we further our works again with the South Africa Studio, for the praise you have given to us. We worship in your presence each day. We pray as you go to our various destinations, go with us in the name of Jesus. Father, there are many days of this year we pray that no calamity shall befall us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Amen